Amid the traffic, the skyscrapers, and the Hollywood stars, it's easy to forget that Los Angeles was once more than just a concrete jungle. As early as 11,000 years ago, mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and even dire wolves not only inhabited the city of angels, they dominated the landscape. And you can still see them today, right here at the La Brea Tar Pits. Oh, you're definitely going to want to wear a mask around here. A little stinky. <laughs> Located in the heart of LA's Museum District is Hancock Park, debatably one of the most deadly parks in California. This very small area, this 14-acre park, has produced over 3.5 million fossils. The La Brea Tar Pits are full of dead things, ancient animals that were trapped in black sticky goo, goo that can ooze out of the ground anywhere at any moment. Yes, if you see these cones, you want to steer clear. These are areas where the asphalt is bubbling up into the grass. According to paleobotanist Reagan Dunn, death by tar is not pleasant. You're trying to escape, but your feet are stuck. You're going to get really tired really fast. And then you're going to get dehydrated. And then you're going to get really hungry. And then eventually you're just going to lay down. And then the rest of your body is stuck. I see why the fence is here. You don't want to end up like those guys. Ugh. The La Brea Tar Pits don't exactly contain tar. It's actually a low-grade asphalt seeping out of underground petroleum deposits. The stuff's good for building roads or waterproofing roofs. But in the case for science, asphalt is really good for preserving fossils. There is a lot of animals in here. Um, we do know that there is at least one sloth in here. While construction workers were digging up a parking lot next door to the La Brea Tar Pits, the workers discovered several hardened asphalt fossil deposits. Researchers then removed the deposits and put them into 23 wooden boxes so they could go through the tedious job of exhuming the bones. For me, uh, tedious has such a negative connotation. I choose to go with detailed. Call it what you will, but fossil preparer Laura Tixberry has a long job ahead of her. All the animal bones in these boxes are mixed up and stuck together. To remove them, they must use chisels, picks, and brushes. We've gone through eight boxes of the 23 in a 14-year time period. Now that's what I call job security. Once the bones are removed, they're categorized, cleaned, and they're pieced together by some of the best puzzle masters I've ever seen. From the ground to display could probably take three years. Inside the museum, you can see all the work that's been accomplished since fossil excavation started back in the early 1900s. Birds, giant sloths, dire wolves, and even human remains have been pieced together. She is known as the La Brea woman, and she's dated to about uh, 9,500 years ago. Wow. And we also have a domestic dog that was found. The tar pits are like time capsules. They've consumed all types of plants and animals from every time period, including the present time period. That poor bird. The pits are unforgiving when it comes to death, but in a way, the legacy of whatever species that is consumed here will live on forever, preserved in tar. From the La Brea Tar Pits in West LA, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back row.